Pacific Northwest National Laboratory is energizing battery development. Our research is improving the performance, safety, reliability, and reducing the cost of energy storage systems that run our devices, increasingly our vehicles, and supply the power grid with clean energy. PNNL's highly cited battery research team uses specialized laboratories to discover, synthesize, and scale up new materials. We characterize, test, prototype, and validate new approaches in a race for the next generation of energy storage systems. This is our advanced battery facility, a unique platform for innovation. It is used to rapidly assess novel electrode materials, architectures, electrolytes, and more at scales that matter to industry. These new technologies are evaluated in realistic battery systems. PNNL's work here brings together researchers from industry and the scientific community. The ABF is a unique capability for designing pouch cells based on different materials, dimensions, and energy or power requirements. Here, PNNL leads the Battery 500 Consortium, a national effort to double the energy stored in state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries for vehicles. These pouch cells have demonstrated very high energies, more than 350 watt-hours per kilogram, and record cycling stability by implementing innovations developed from the consortium. For those who don't have pouch cell facilities, we develop coin cell testing protocols for developers to evaluate new ideas in their own labs first, before testing in realistic batteries here. At the opposite end of the scale, the ABF is where we make micro batteries. They were developed to power miniaturized sensors injected into fish to study their survival rates after passing hydropower dams. The powder-filled structure results in a very small battery, no larger than a grain of rice, with at least 30% increased capacity. PNNL's materials synthesis and scale-up laboratories have distinctive production capabilities for further development of promising new materials. PNNL works differently than other institutions. We consider not only the cost of raw materials, but the cost of processing as well, which impacts industry. For instance, we've developed a solvent-free processing approach for electrode materials. This method is environmentally friendly and less costly. It shortens the time required for making electrodes, and it's easier to fabricate thicker electrodes with only 1% or less binder material. We've also developed an innovative approach to synthesize high-performance, lower-cost, nickel-rich cathode materials for next-generation lithium-ion batteries. Our researchers use a single crystal approach to mitigate material degradation and sensitivity to moisture. We are now collaborating with industry to scale up synthesis of these single crystals. Adding coatings and surface treatments can protect battery materials and improve their performance. Researchers apply advanced deposition techniques to make the protective layers more effective. Chemical vapor deposition is used to very thinly coat electrode materials with substances that enhance their electronic conductivity. Atomic layer deposition introduces a gas that attaches to the surface of battery materials. This bonds chemicals to active materials, adding desired functions, so they can perform better and longer in energy storage systems. PNNL's work to develop battery technologies with high energy and reduced cobalt helps to broaden critical supply chains, including for electric vehicle batteries. PNNL is now using high-throughput screening to accelerate the discovery of thousands of new battery materials. We can rapidly identify and optimize solid-state electrolytes, liquid electrolytes, and additives for various applications, such as fast charging, low temperature operation, and enhanced safety. Competition on the battery field is a powerful force, but so is collaboration. Working together, we can accelerate development and deployment of high-performance, lower-cost batteries that will help decarbonize our roads, our power systems, and our world.